Hey you, long time no see. Today I am going to be reviewing Light Runner by Philip Brown. First I'd like to thank the author Philip Brown and Strange Fiction Press for providing me not only with a review copy but a giveaway copy as well. Over on my blog I do have a guest post from the author Philip Brown as well as this review in text format. Now, due to some technical issues, I was unfortunately not able to get the video review of this book review up on my blog at the same time as the giveaway. Luckily, I just happen to have another copy of Light Runner right here. So, I'm going to be doing a second giveaway here, only for YouTube, you beautiful YouTube people. We'll have a little more about the giveaway at the end of this review. I'll talk a little more about the giveaway at the end of this review, so strap in. For being a book about a girl who finds a mystical healing bracelet, Light Runner turned out to be a pretty contemporary and down-to-earth story. And I have to say, I really, really liked that. Philip Brown does a great job keeping this book grounded in our world and our reality. So much so that I could actually see something like this popping up in my Twitter feed or on YouTube. The way Brown relates the story interspersing Dara's memories of her life before the events in the story, and skipping through months at a time by relaying only the information that we actually need, gets across an idea of where Dara is mentally and emotionally. I sensed her longing and nostalgia even while time blurred by as she struggled to survive one day at a time. The story is well told for the most part with decent writing. There's an interesting mix of styles here that lands Light Runner somewhere between light literary fiction and straight up young adult, which, if you're wondering, actually worked really, really well for me. There is some philosophical posturing, but it's not heavily leaned on. And it's generally related in the personal musings of either our main character, Dara, or the antagonist, Gunnerick. Now, some aspects of the story did feel a little convenient or illogical, but on the whole, it's an interesting tale, and Dara, tough and determined heroine, is totally believable and easy to relate to. She has a satisfactory development from uncertain, irresponsible teen to competent and, in a way, wise. I really liked where Brown leaves her at the end of the story, wise enough to understand what's coming next, but still at heart just a teenage girl with a renewed appreciation of family and home. The villain in Gunnerick was a little harder to pin down. But, again, that really fit well into the story. There are many aspects of his character and the conflict that Dara finds herself in that we as readers never really fully understand. They're left intentionally unexplained or unexplored. There's enough information provided for reader satisfaction as far as Dara's story is concerned, so don't worry about that. But there were definitely things left open for a sequel. It seemed appropriate that the origins of the conflict, like the mysterious bracelet itself, has an aura of the unexplained about it. We learn what drives Gunnarik, a good mix of villain bitterness and genuine emotional damage, but the history of a lot of the fallout that Dara is dealing with is hidden behind a shroud. There was one big thing about Light Runner that I didn't like very much, and that was just the portrayal of police in general throughout the entire story from both Dara's perspective and the perspective of the villain Gunnarik. For the story, it makes sense that Dara wouldn't really trust the police because uh, she is being investigated for a mysterious disappearance and a mysterious death. So, couple that with her unbelievable tale about a mystical healing bracelet, yeah, she's totally gonna think that nobody's gonna believe her. In general, I just thought that the portrayal of police officers was altogether too callous and depicted them as being too unfeeling. I would recommend Light Runner for ages 14 and up, as it does deal with several mature issues, such as violence, mentions of sexual abuse, and a scene where someone does try to take advantage of Dara, though nothing actually happens. For that reason, I would just recommend it for more mature readers. Light Runner ends abruptly, again, sequel material, but it leaves us with an interesting kind of question as to the reason and purpose of the healing mystical bracelet. I'll be interested down the road to learn what the answer is. But at the same time, I felt like leaving this question for us at the very end 
fit really well with just the tone of the entire story. This was one of the elements that lended to a more literary feel for the book. It gives us a sense of ambiguity without withholding the information that we really, really want. Instead of feeding us questions about the possibility of the supernatural origins of the bracelet, Brown instead centers the story around the fact that Dara is a teenage girl, alone, uncertain, and searching desperately for her father. We are so caught up in Dara's personal stakes that we don't necessarily care about whether the bracelet has a higher purpose or not. We just accept that the bracelet is. For me, the way that Brown managed to pull off this sleight of hand was one of the most interesting aspects of this story. Light Runner by Philip Brown gets 3.5 out of 5 stars from me, and he also did a guest post, a link for which I'm going to put right here in the box. And now, we're going to talk about a giveaway. Would you like to win a copy of Light Runner by Philip Brown? If you would like to win a copy of Light Runner by Philip Brown, which I enjoyed, just comment on the video itself on YouTube and then share it with your friends. And then I will do a drawing in two weeks, and if you are the winner, I will send you an email. The winner will also be announced in a video. Ta-da! Alright, thanks for stopping by, guys. I will see you next time.